are starting to panic and human beings are not very great at dealing with panic. For today's video, I am actually here to talk about something that's actually pretty serious and is usually not something I would talk about on my channel, but I just feel like this directly impacted my lifestyle and I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about what I'm doing. As you guys all know, um, there's a virus that's going around and it's spreading and a bunch of people are panicking and social media and traditional media are actually not doing a very good job at keeping people calm and informed. But essentially, we need to start being more careful. And when I say being more careful, I just mean avoiding leaving the house when you can. So just avoiding very, very crowded public places, making sure to keep washing your hands and avoid touching your mouth knows that's literally the advice that the world health organization has been giving everyone and it would already help a lot with the spread of the virus but because of this panic and because of the fact that a lot of people are getting sick even though it's a small percentage people are starting to panic and human beings are not very great at dealing with panic and what i mean by this is that a lot of people are actually starting to go to the supermarket and just wiping the shelves Clean. My boyfriend this morning tried to go get us a pack of pasta and a pack of toilet roll and I think maybe like a little bit of chicken because that's just what we normally would eat and this is actually what he encountered. All of the shelves were completely empty, there was no pasta, there was not even cookies, like people stocked up on cookies. Here's the thing. This is definitely a temporary thing because yesterday or last night they announced that they were going to be closing down schools and restaurants for a little bit of time. I think it's about three weeks. I'm in Belgium, by the way, for anyone that's curious. Because the press conference was yesterday, people sort of panicked this morning and rushed to the supermarkets. There was actually a video of people at an Aldi literally just trying to stampede over each other to get food. The ultimate question is, as a minimalist, does this make me want to change my habits and my way of being so for those of you that don't know here at home i usually don't keep a lot of spares i will usually have like an extra tube of toothpaste beside the one that i'm using but that's it and same with shampoo toilet paper i'll usually have maybe like four or five more rolls than the ones that i need my household is composed by the way of like me my boyfriend and my best friend is currently crashing so there's three of us here does this little panic crisis make me want to change how I act about those things. Absolutely. Why? Because here's the thing, if we all were rational and we were calm about it, then nobody would have to do this. But because a handful of people are going into the supermarket and grabbing all of the pasta and taking it home, at this point, if we don't at least stock up a little bit, then we're going to be the ones sitting at home starving. They're still allowing restaurants to provide takeout, so that's an option, but it's obviously not a very sustainable option because takeout is just purely expensive and I like cooking at home. What I'm doing about it is I'm basically trying to be careful without exaggerating. So for example, the next time that they stock up on pasta, I'll maybe have one pack and an extra one sitting around, but I'm not going to buy the whole freaking shelf and I really don't think that anyone should be either. And I'm getting a little bit worked up about this because here's the thing, guys. Hand soap is going to be of no use to you if other people have no hand soap and aren't washing their hands. Like for the virus not to spread, we all need to be able to wash our hands. We all need to be able to wash our hands. I just think that people need to take that into consideration. And for example, what I'm going to try to do is have like two cans of peas sitting around and those will last me forever but instead of eating from those i'm just going to try to go to the supermarket on a daily basis and just see how the situation is so if there's food that day then i'll bring a little bit of peas back home and i'll eat that for the next couple of days or whatever um and if that day the supermarket is empty then i'll eat from my reserves i think the moral of the story here guys is that we should all just remember it to be human if one of us goes to the supermarket and buys all of the chicken there, a lot of other people are going to be left with no chicken and it doesn't make absolutely any sense. And even if you have children at home who you have to feed, just start being a little bit smarter about your meals, like start eating a little bit less. We could still just try to pay attention to nutrition, eat a lot of potato-based meals, a lot of soup that keeps you full. Yes, you should be a little bit more careful and yes, it would be a good idea to have a little bit of a reserve. But what I mean by a little bit of a reserve 
is maybe two more than you usually would and not 20 more than you usually would because that's just going to mean a shortage for other people. And even if they do start replenishing the supermarkets at this point, it's going to be at an unsustainable rate because everyone is panicking and everyone is running to the supermarket and buying too much. So they're going to end up having to like ration our food like they did in world wars and it's just not going to be very pleasant sight so if you want to follow my approach as a minimalist i'm going to stock up just a little bit i'm going to try to go to the supermarket on a daily or every other day basis and keep up with the situation like that instead of eating from my reserves i'm going to be washing my hands a lot i'm going to stay home as much as i possibly can because that's the advice from the authorities i work from home so for me that's not going to be a huge problem. I'm just hoping that everyone realizes that this is going to be okay. It's going to be fine eventually, so long as we all keep calm. <laughs> Stay safe, guys. Thank you so much for being a part of my little family on this channel. If you like my content, please don't forget to subscribe and give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below telling me what you think about this whole situation. I would love to hear from you guys and what you guys are doing. And I'll see you guys in my next video.